Hello and welcome, my name is Avon and today we're going to be going through Zoho Bookings and what it does, what it, how it works, uh, and we're going to do a bit of an unboxing. So I'm going to show you that and a couple of tips and tricks so you can kind of see it around me here. So let me just minimize myself and uh, this is a brand new instance so I'm just going to take you through a few uh, features. Now you notice this is uh, bookings, you can see by the domain here, it is bookings.zoho.com.au. Now I have opened it up in Zoho One because in Zoho One, uh, which is a kind of a bundle deal for all of the Zoho apps, it actually changes the frame a little bit. So you can see on the outside, you've got the Zoho One frame, you've got all access to all the other apps here. Um, but in particular, all the menu items are exactly the same. So I'm just going to jump back over to, to books uh, bookings over here so that we can have a look. All right, let's close that. <clears throat> so we're in bookings and this is the calendar view. So if you've got this integrated with your Zoho calendar or even with your uh, Outlook calendar or Gmail calendar, then your meetings will start to come in here. Now at the moment, I've just got it on the day view. Uh, I generally prefer a week view because I like to know what's coming up, uh, but you could do a month view or just today, which again is just the day view. Um, you can do the list view as well. So at the moment we don't have any appointments, uh, but you would just select a date up here. So let's go back to calendar view and uh, we can see we've got one user. Now this is a brand new account and you can see uh, there's not much or pretty much there's no data in here. So in order to get started, we need to do a few things. So one, we need to set up the user. So the user who is um, the this one here, and they are basically going to be running consultations. Um, thankfully, that's also called consultations here. And so you need to give uh, create the consultation record. You need to set up the user profile, and then you can set up all the booking settings. All right. Normally, what I'd like to do the first time is just go into the settings and sort of work my way more specific. So let's go high level. So I can add email, business email, uh, you know, set contact numbers, all those sorts of settings, 24 hour time, 12 hours, Australian dollars. Working hours, oh, sorry, just going back here, US dollar or Australian dollar, you can actually charge people money to attend sessions. Um, working hours, so that will containerize when you're actually working. So you might have special working hours as well. So you might do a late night on a particular day or time off where you might block out Christmas day or something like that. Your booking page URL and you can customize that and then that will pop out in a new um, page. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so there's not much here. This is the standard one. You can change uh, a little bit of design here. Um, I actually find this layout really confusing, but you first select the consultation, then you select the cons uh, consultant, then you select the day based on their availability, and it will give you uh, time zone and time of day options, and then you book appointment. So once we come back here later, that should be a little bit more detail. Okay, so um, you can select the notifications, the custom labels, um, any kind of privacy, etc. Let's go back to general settings and let's set up workspace. So the workspace is kind of like the company record. So we've kind of set up the platform details. Now we set up the company record. So basic information, again, your company email, description, um, consultations. Uh, this kind of grips up the consultations records here and I've got one created already. Um, and then you go your in-person locations. So you might say, I'm in Brisbane, I'm in Sydney, I'm in Melbourne. Um, notifications uh, now you can do some customizations uh, in some of the email templates that go out so for example here if I go to the email for customers and then I can see and customize the email that goes to people when they've booked in um, okay and then reminders uh, in advance it's always good to get a reminder it reduces your uh, your no-shows dramatically Custom functions, uh, yep, you can send um, lines of code, trigger other things in other platforms. Uh, we can set <clears throat> global policies. You know, for example, minimum booking notice is a really good idea. Um, you know, you're not gonna be five minutes before the hour 
and then that's when the booking comes in and then all of a sudden you've got to jump to it and be ready. So I like to say at least four hours notice to book a meeting. Um, and then if uh, maybe maximum notice might be they can't book uh, more than three months out or six months out or something like that because you don't know where you're going to be at that time. All right, workspace booking URL. So for this specific workspace, embed. So you can embed it on your website and it come up as like an iframe or something like that. Uh, you can customize the form so you can ask a few additional questions. You can add fields in there and then your booking page settings. So that's where you get to add some of the other content on there. The theme, now I highly recommend you go in and change the layout. So the layout that we looked at before, this one here. Now if I change to the new layout, and my change has been saved. I can then go back over here, refresh, and that should update to the new layout, which is a little bit more Calendly-esque. Um, let's have a look at this one. Go back over here, refresh. A little bit more, mm, uh, there is another app, I can't think of the name right now. And then you've got fresh. Um, as you can see, let me refresh that one. So personally, ah, okay. So personally, I like this new layout a little bit better. Um, and then you can also change some of the colors, uh, upload some images and that sort of stuff. Okay, let's now go back to consultations. Yeah, let's have a look at this one. Uh, actually, before we set up a consultation, let's set up the consultant, the person who is being booked. You can add multiple. Um, you can add other resources as well. So uh, we've got the consultant and all of their details. Then we have their individual working hours, um, assigned consultant uh, consultations. So for example, if we've set up a 30 minute meeting, a 60 minute meeting, a two hour meeting, that we can assign those consultations to that individual so they can then access uh, or, or have that as a bookable um, feature for their, their calendar. Um, they've got their individual URL so they can send just to book themselves. So you, one is like the company URL and then you can go and select from the consultants and the, um, the consultations. Um, and then you've got a individual so they can just book themselves. Uh, booking page settings, again, that's sort of similar to the design layout that we selected before. Uh, and you can also embed it on your uh, website. For example, this is really great on the About Us page and you can have that, you know, people go to the About Us, they want to see who the team is and then they click in and then they get that, um, their particular calendar. It's a really great way to, instead of sending this booking page URL uh, that's up here, um, you send them to a page such as yourwebsite.com slash person name. So that helps you to kind of direct your customer, particularly when you, you know, whether you're doing uh, networking on LinkedIn or any of that sort of stuff, back to your branded website where they can uh, discover the rest of the main menu, they can discover the services and so on. Okay, so then I'm gonna go to um, consultations as promised. And in here, we can go and add different details. So is it a 30 minute meeting? Is it a 60 minute meeting? Is it free? Are we charging $50, $100? Uh, buffer time. Maybe you want to have a 15 minute gap at least between every meeting. Um, what is it, a one to one or one to many? You can actually do multi bookings. Um, and then with your description, so maybe in this case they've got a QA. So it's a specific type of meeting. Uh, everyone's there for a particular purpose. And that meeting link is only sent out in certain situations. So you might have a very specific description. Um, or visibility so it can exist but it's not public so no one can find it but you can send the link and you can still book people in okay consultant assigned so that's kind of after you've set the, set it up you're just linking those two together uh, availability uh, is it based on the users availability or um, you know are we constraining it to say this type of meeting is only ready for the next three months so maybe if there's a uh, special deal where you're doing a one hour consultation for half price. Maybe that deal is only avail uh, valid for three months. So that's where you set those dates. <clears throat> consultation notifications. So if there's any notifications specific to that meeting. So you've got your global settings and then you've got that specific meeting settings. 
Uh, then we've got uh, pretty much the same thing there, there, and there from now on. It's uh, pretty much the same. All right, in your own profile, that's where the consultant themselves would log in. So you've got two different layers of settings. This is the super admin, so they can see everything. But your individual workers will probably see a cut down version of what's available. Okay, working hours, again, they can, uh, they can handle all of those settings and you can change your profile image. And then the booking page, kind of like what we saw before. And you can do that by the workspace, the consultation, or the individual themselves. Because say for example, the workspace is company wide. The consultation is just that 30 minute meeting type. So if, you, if that's the first meeting that you send everybody, then you probably just want to send them that link and not have them accidentally go and book two hours for their first conversation. And then the consultant. If they're keen on talking to one person in particular, um, then that's when you send this link. So, broadly speaking, that is Zoho Bookings and um, that's how you uh, create and set up your Zoho Bookings. Once you've been able to set up the links, you'll end up with a uh, booking page like this with all the availability based on the, the user. They can select the consultation, um, grab a time, and then put in a little bit of, uh, put in their own details so that they get the email invite. Okay, so that was the demo. Thank you for watching. If you found this useful, please do subscribe, give it a like, share it to anyone you know, um, and thank you very much. You take care.